Good evening and welcome to a snowy Cumbria where we've had great excitement today with the snow but not enough to make a snowman or a snowwoman like our dear founder brother Francis but however it's lovely to see it. I pray that all of you are well on this Tuesday evening and it's so good to welcome our dear sister Sue and those who've not logged in, you're welcome. And to dear Sister Mary, and I pray that Mike is feeling less depressed this evening. For Marvain, and for dear Helen Francis, and we pray that Anthony has come out of intensive care. For Amir, for dear Laurie, and for Sister Magdalena, and for dear Brother Francis. It's so good to welcome you all around this table. It really is. It's a joy to my heart. Well, today is day 14 of our novena, 40-day novena of prayers for the Teo community for the Franclara Abbey of Peace in America. So if you have a candle handy, come on, let's light our light and let that light shine across the universe for all God's children who are struggling and suffering at this hour. Father, Mother, God, we dedicate our evening prayer to you in thanksgiving for your blessings this day, for the abundance we receive from your gracious hands. And we bring to you all gathered here with all our requests and we bring our brothers and sisters of the Teo community of St. Francis around the world. Amen. And now our little bells from Tibet, we ring them resounding with God's praises. Amen. So our prayer this evening is the Divine Office for the second Tuesday of Lent, and I pray that you will join me. O oh God, come to my aid, O oh Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Excuse me. When you get to a certain age, you start dribbling. So now we begin with our special hymn for Lent. Jesus, the Son of ransomed earth, shed in our inmost souls thy light, as in spring days a fairer birth heralds each morn the doom of night. This hour of grace thou dost impart, teach us with flowing tears the strain to cleanse from every victim heart that longs to feel love's welcome pain. The day is come, the accepted day, when grace like nature flowers anew, trained by thy hand the surer way, rejoice we in our springtime too. Let the whole earth in worship bow, great God before thy mercy seat, as we renewed by grace do now with praises new thy praises greet and that's a sixth century hymn composed by t r a knox born in 1888 and crossed over in 1957. wow so now our first antiphon for tuesday evening you cannot serve both God and wealth. And our psalm is Psalm 48. And the theme of the psalm is the uselessness of riches. 
Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed, all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom, my heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp, I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me, men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age. Though their name spread wide through the land, in his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. We now pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You cannot serve both God and wealth. And the second antiphon, store up treasures for yourselves in heaven, says the Lord. And we continue with Psalm 48. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers who will never see the light any more. In his riches, man lacks wisdom. He is like the beasts that are destroyed. And now we pray together the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Store up treasures for yourself in heaven, says the Lord. And the third antiphon, worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. Our next reading is a canticle reading from the book of Revelation. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed many for God, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priests to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honour and glory and blessing. We pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive glory and honour. And for the second Tuesday of Lent, we have a special scripture reading from Jason 2, 14, 17 and 18. What does it profit, my brethren, if a man says he has faith but not works? Can his faith save him? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. Show me your faith apart from your works, and I by my works will show you my faith. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short responsory, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. I said, Lord, have mercy on me. And the Magnificent Antiphon, you are all brothers. Do not call any man on earth your father, since you have only one father, and he is in heaven. Nor must you be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. Isn't that a beautiful antiphon? And now I want you to join me for the beautiful canticle of Mary, the Magnificat. Mary's response as a young Jewish teenager to the Archangel Gabriel, who came to bring her tidings of great news, that she would conceive in her womb the Messiah by the power of the Holy Spirit. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God who is my Saviour. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me and holy is his name, his mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength, and he scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones, and he exalts the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, and he sends the rich away empty handed. He protects. Israel his servant, that's you and me, as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his sons forever. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are all brothers. Do not call any man on earth your father, since you have only one father who is in heaven. Nor must you be called teachers, for you have only one teacher, the Christ. And now we come to an important part of our evening prayer, our intercessions. When the Lord Jesus was lifted up on the cross, he drew all things to himself. Let us glorify him in our prayer. Response, Lord, draw all men and women to yourself. Lord, draw all men and women to yourself. Lord, may your cross light up the darkness of the world. May it lead every man and woman to you, the way, the truth, and the life. Response, Lord, draw all men and women to yourself. Give the true and living water to all who thirst for you. Let, let it be, let it well up to eternal life. Response, Lord, draw all men and women to yourself. Shed the light of your knowledge on scientists, 
and artists. Let their work make men more open to the coming of your kingdom. Response, Lord, draw all men and women to yourself. Look on those who no longer walk with you because of scandal or sin. May they return to you and remain in your love. Response, Lord, excuse me, draw all men and women to yourself and grant to our dead a place in heaven. Let them share the happiness of Mary and the saints. Response, Lord, draw all men and women to yourself. And now, just for a short moment or two, let us remind ourselves that before we were born, God created us as a unique spirit and gave to each one of us a sacred name. And we were consecrated to God. So when we came onto this earth plane, we already had those amazing gifts of God impregnated in our soul's DNA. And that should take away a lot of the fear, the anxiety that many of us have to face or endure on this journey to God. We take heart because we're never alone. Because the moment we were born, our Father, Mother, God assigned to each one of us a named personal guardian angel. And that guardian angel knows our ins and outs. They have known us from the moment we breathed the breath of God's spirit in our mother's womb. And they wait on us 24 seven to call on them. Many don't. They think it's child's play, this thing of having a guardian angel. But I give you my word, my guardian angel is real. And I talk to my guardian angel frequently throughout each day. And I thank them for watching over me and protecting me from danger and from people who say they love God, but their hearts are closed to God. So I would like you now to invite your guardian angel to come to you and sit with you and speak with you and share with you what they would like you to do to allow you experience the genuine, selfless, respectful love of God for you. And if anything is troubling you, share it. But now you can choose to name, bless and release to God whatever may be eating your inner peace. You may be despondent, depressed. You may be in pain or worried about a hospital procedure or maybe about the way the world is going at the moment where the children of God are turning against one another and violating God's spirit in those whom they injure, insult or judge. So for this moment, Christ is present here with me and I want to share him with you because he knows you by name, but he's waiting for you to share with him whatever may be heavy on your heart. So let's do that now as we come into the presence of God. Be still. And I'm guided to play this for you. My forever friend. Everybody needs a little help sometimes. 
no one stands alone. Makes no difference if you're just, just a child like me or a king upon the throne. For there are no exceptions, we all stand in the line. Everybody needs a friend. Let me tell you of mine He's my forever friend My leave me never friend From darkest night to rainbow's end He's my forever friend Even when I turn away, he cares for me. His love no one can shake. Even as I walk away, he's by my side. With every breath I take. And sometimes I forget. My halo fails to shine Sometimes I'm not his friend But he is always mine He's my forever friend My leave me never friend Darkest night to rainbows end is my forever friend. If you still don't know the one I'm talking of, I think it's time you knew. Long the golden fire. Upon a cross, my friend died for you. So if you'd like to meet him and don't know what to do, ask my friend into your heart and he'll be your friend too. He's my forever friend My leave me never friend From darkest night to rainbow's end He's my forever friend He's my forever friend So now we bring to this table of love the whole family of God, of all faiths and none. And we call on our Father, Mother God, who has many names and none, to come and support each one of us here. And that the Christ, the Good Shepherd, will lay his healing hand on you and empower you to take back your power from fear, from worry, from anxiety, and reclaim your divinity as a child of God. But not any old child, a unique child of God, a child who is loved, dearly loved. But we pray this evening for our brothers and sisters in Syria who are going through a horrendous experience where bless their hearts 
in need of water, food, clothing, shelter and medicines, especially pain control. We thank our God for giving them a window in the awful violence that's been committed against the president's own people. And we pray that Russia and Syria will cease firing and killing their own people. But we pray for those in America, the young people in Florida who were massacred by a young man with a mental health disability. We pray for the gun lobby to take responsibility for its hidden agenda, where it sponsors several of its senators so as to win votes. We pray for God's righteousness to come back into all our hearts and that we take responsibility for this beautiful earth, God's free gift to us and for the animal kingdom. This evening, I want to pray for my brothers and sisters in the Teo community and especially for Sister Meredith in Georgia, for Brother Paul in California, for dear Brother Brian, and for all my brothers and sisters around the world, and especially for Sister Eleanor, who's been unwell, and dear Sister Elizabeth in Philadelphia, who's in chronic pain. I pray this evening for dear Sister Mary's husband, Mike, who I believe is struggling with depression. I pray too for each one of you here on Facebook, so many of you, for dear Marvane and for dear Helen Francis, and I pray, as I have done all day, for your nephew Anthony in intensive care through a drug overdose, and pray there's no serious harm done to his liver. For dear Amir and her family, for her friend Myra and her son Yuan and for Cora, and for Gronje, your sister. We pray for dear sister Laurie, that the Lord will show Laurie a way forward, and that the Lord will meet your needs when the Lord knows you're ready to accept them. For dear sister Magdalena and your twin sister Rita, we remember you and your many requests especially for your families and your loved ones. For dear brother Francis, so good to have you with us. And we pray too this evening, ah, oh, brother Catch and sister Paula, and pray you had a wonderful day skiing in the snow there in Finland. Ah, oh, and Agnes, our dear brother John from Belfast, his sister Agnes in Germany. We send you love, light and blessing, Agnes, and we pray that you're well. For Rona Griffiths, for Peter, for Angel Spinola, what a lovely name. Isn't that a beautiful name? And for Jojo Maria Timpanaro, another beautiful name. Yes, amen, I love you, Jesus, my God and saviour of the world. Wow. And yes, forgive us our sin. For Adam C. McHenry, welcome dear Adams. And yes, the blessed sacrament is behind me on the shelf with the candles in front of it. We're very blessed to have the real presence. It gives us strength for Philippe. Welcome, dear Philippe. And Magdalene, I burn a candle for all the children who need no mother's love, who need a mother's love today. I burn a candle for children who need their mother's love. That is lovely. 
And we pray to today for those who are filial children and who've got no real parental love or support and end up in residential care or places of correction. We pray for Mary Jane McNamee. Now that's a good Irish name. And we pray, yes, for Magdalena. And for all our friends on social media, because the Lord God called you by name to be God's prayer partners for unity and peace in this beautiful world. And it is a beautiful world. So let us all together remember those who minister God's word, all our religious leaders. I pray for Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, head of the Anglican Church here and abroad, for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for His Holiness, the Dalai Lama and Thich Nhat Hanh, and for all the men and women who've heard the call of God and who are working under great pressures where many are weary, tired, and in need of prayer. We pray for all our politicians who promise us the earth and deliver nothing except our MP, Tim Farron, a good Christian man who's honourable and he's, oh, he's an amazing man. I pray for him. But I want to pray for those who are here, who are in dire straits and who need God's help. So let us together pray the Lord's Prayer with one another for one another. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to all of us here, O Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us. Forgive us for allowing fear, anxiety, and despair from eating away at your peace, instigated by the Antichrist, who wants to lead us off our spiritual path. Protect us, strengthen us, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So be it. Amen. And our closing prayer from the Divine Office for the second Tuesday of Lent. Bear with me. Ah. Watch over your church, Lord, with unfailing compassion. And since left to ourselves, we are prone to evil. By your grace, turn us away from all that is harmful and direct us into the way of salvation. Amen. And now, our final prayer is the beautiful prayer the Holy Spirit gave our very own Sister Mary, who's here from Michigan, USA. I, Sister Mary, in Christ Jesus, believe, so lack of finances, for the Franciscan Sanctuary of Hope, be you removed in the name of Jesus. Father, Mother God, we come to you in praise and thanksgiving for the dream you gave to our founder, your dream of a Franciscan Sanctuary of Hope. We pray it will be a Sanctuary of Hope, with a warm heart and an open mind to call all people out of darkness and lead them to the Divine Spirit, a sanctuary of hope that heals hurt lives and helps all people, a sanctuary of hope that leads us all in the way of peace of St. Francis and St. Clair of Assisi to serve Father Mother God, the poor, and marginalized, a sanctuary of hope that knows no division of culture, class, or race, 
a century of hope that embraces the vision of Jesus and St. Francis to embrace all beliefs and none, a century of hope that welcomes brothers and sisters of different faith communities dedicating their lives and hearts as lay monastics embracing Celtic Franciscan spirituality, a century of hope of the masters for the people. High is the ideals of Jesus and low as the humblest human and a loving sanctuary of hope and friendship to the animal kingdom. A sanctuary of hope that inspires courage for this life and hope for the life to come. We pray, we put this into the hands of our Father Mother God in the hope St. Francis and St. Clair will hear us. When summer returns and the roses are again in bloom and God is able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Now he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 8 and 10. And we thank God for that beautiful prayer to Sister Mary. So let us now end with a short Celtic blessing from Iona in Scotland. The blessing of heaven the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this night and on every human family, the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the gifts of the animal kingdom. Be with you now and always. Amen. And as I blow out this flame, I thank the Lord Christ for laying his healing hand on each one of you. So let us go from this place and let us bring in this season of Lent a smile to those who have lost their smile. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve this amazing God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and made the peace from the son of peace, from the queen of peace, become your peace, because you are God's prayer partners for peace. I wish you all a peaceful day or evening, wherever you are. Oh my word, it's snowing thick and fast here. I just wished it would stick more so I could make my snow woman like St. Francis did in Assisi. Good night and God bless you from a snowy, bitterly cold Cumbria. Amen. <laughs>